All right. Hopefully that is live and working. Smile. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome on back to Rail Ritter. Day 39 now of the Derp Railroad. And uh, we're just now opening up the session. Uh, as a reminder, we do these for all membership um, Derpineers and above members here on the channel. So if you guys are one of those, feel free to join our Discord. Link for that is in the description down below. And come join us. We always need some more help. Hello. 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 Hi, Gerald says hi, by the way. Huh? <laughs> I said Gerald says hi. Who's Gerald? Gerald. Gerald's in my stream. Hi, Gerald. Hi. Give me one second. Yep. Server is open. Yeah, I'll just get to getting you. I don't know why, uh, Carl hasn't gone off. Carl Carl slacks constantly. <laughs> the only time he ever works is to tell people no. Outside of that, he doesn't get paid enough. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> All right. Um, the first priority is getting logs switched. So I'm just going to uh, grab the big old Burke here and waddle my way up to uh, Connolly Creek. And he waddled away. Waddle, waddle. <laughs> Perfect timing. Girl just got home from work. Well, congrats. Happy Friday. And he waddled away. Waddle, waddle. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not happy about that fact. <laughs> Just gotta bring him some bread. <laughs> hey! Got any Jeeps? Oh, that's right. Wait, why Why am I up here in Whittier? I was down in Silver. Uh, I don't know. Alright, I'm debating do I... Oh, you know what? The last log was literally just yeeted. So let's grab these. Are these in order? L1, L2s, L3s. The other one hasn't cycled yet. <clears throat> Graphics. Uh, I've had an A-OK -okay day, I guess. It was Friday. Work went by uh, pretty fast, I guess. Same with me. I, I literally just after you had sent the message in the Discord server, so I just didn't have time to sit down, get into some more comfortable clothes, get out of my work uniform. And leave. I had a bacon cheeseburger on sourdough. Well, nice. All right, let's see here. L3, L3, L3. L2s. So I guess I can take these all up to L3 and kind of work the way down. I've never done it like this, so we're just going to wing it, I guess. Yeah, that's that's normally how I do it, too, is I go up to the top, swap out the cars, and I grab the load in and swap them out. <clears throat> Everyone else. Uh, I don't know. Like, like I said, Carl hasn't gone off yet. I don't think anybody really 
the the at here only really affects people that are like actively online at that moment. So I'm sure people have missed it. <clears throat> Time to go into edit my video and add tags to it. For some, for some reason, you know, Streamlabs won't allow you to do that. <laughs> it should for um, if you're streaming to Twitch, not to YouTube. Come on. There you go. All right, let's get this up Connolly Creek. We did also recently just switch out pulpwood, which probably is Oh yeah, it's it's filling up. Okay. It's not filled by any means, but it's working on it. We're at twenty three thousand. Twenty three thousand for what? Right. Yeah, money. Twenty three thousand dollars. Uh, we need like another eight grand to get another Jeep. Just take out a loan. No. No. We've done this entire playthrough so far without having to take out a loan <laughs> so far. Take out a loan and get two Jeeps. <laughs> also, our, um, max loan limit is, uh, a quarter of a million dollars already. I want to reach a million at some point. <laughs> the million dollar <laughs> Yeah. Do it like one of those uh, ridiculous GTA 5 streams. Spending spree! <laughs> oh, hey, Nasu's here. Yep, Nasu has connected. Good, somebody can get on the passenger train. Which I believe is following the line somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, Dillsboro. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was being ran by AI, so I don't know what condition it's in. AI I... does fine. Carl hasn't pinged anybody yet, so. I probably ought to fix that. I'll get to the top of the top of the hill and try and fix that. We're getting spicy wheel noises. Well, you know, I guess I should put myself in uh, Whittier we'll crew. Probably, we'll, we'll, pro we'll probably get the uh, the eight grand alone off of uh, the logs. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we make that much off. Of, I, I I don't know. I haven't been paying too much attention. What was our last finance report for that, actually? When does that, what time does that come in? It's like midnight, isn't it? It's supposed to be. I, do not, I know they came in. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. So, uh, Whittier Sawmill, about five grand. Parsons Tannery, about 1.4 grand. And then Silver Paperboard, 2.4 grand. Oh, yeah, we'll make eight grand. 
Assuming that we kept up with demand. We did. Because we swapped out the pulp wood as soon as it was empty and we swapped out the pulp. Oh, can't be going that fast. Oh uh, yeah, I mean it has been a few hours, so hopefully all those cars are repaired. Assuming we can make some more money. I right, take a selfie. Uh, quit your squealing back there. That's fine. <laughs> Happy Burk noises. <laughs> This is actually amazing that the Burke actually comes up here. Can go anywhere, any <laughs> yeah. Game breaking reality. Well, I mean, to be fair, Nasu, uh, not the holidays aren't even done multiple times this day. Yeah. Oh, hello there. Hi, Robert. Welcome on back. We are fetching logs so we can then time skip. <clears throat> Hello, William. Some people rolling in. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to everybody. Happy Friday and or Saturday, depending on where you're at in the world. <laughs> Am I putting a Burke in Connolly? We are using a Burke in Connolly right now. Hey, Robert, we put we put it up there in Connolly yesterday. Well, to be fair, we had the cordwood, and it's like, yeah, sure, just deliver it. Or the empties, rather. We, that's what we returned. <laughs> it's cordwood. <laughs> and the starting engine's Betsy. Oh, nice. Six hours ahead. Just remember you're short an hour tomorrow. Oh, actually, that might... Daylight savings is not an international thing. It's like an American thing. Are doing daylight savings? It, it's this weekend, yeah. It's Saturday into Sunday. Chugga. Takes forever to get up here. It's like the whole branch is like two and a half miles long. But you can only go like 25 miles per hour max. 22 really. <clears throat> uh, 
Pam pa nam pam pam pa nam. All right, there's L2. L3 is the annoying one, which I guess is why we're going to do it first. Alright, uh, Creek says he'll be on probably not for like another three hours. Or two and a half. Probably still doing more accounting. <laughs> Uh, him and his girlfriend are about to get dinner. Well, that's not more important. <laughs> How dare you get food? Get your ass to the railroad. Reject women. Embrace railroad. <laughs> hey, now. All right, I got to think about what in the world I'm going to do here. D and D. What are you a nerd? Wait, what about D and D? <laughs> Nasty's like, I'm only gonna be here for about three hours. Uh, I have D and D. Look in a mirror. I'm not a nerd. I have looked in a mirror. I looked in a mirror once, and the only thing that it confirmed was I'm. Three ribbon steaks, medium rare over a wood fired stove. William, that sounds good. Uh, Robert, if you have your Discord linked to uh, your uh, YouTube account, uh, it will um, it'll work its magic in Nix's Discord, and you'll be able to see a new section of channels opening up, one of which is Yard Talk, and above that, there's server and What he said. I don't know how it does it. It's just magic. It's an integration. Yeah, and join the void. We're not in Snap. Too many people's names start with N. It's confusing. <laughs> it's only two of us. <laughs> that's 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 one too many. Wow. It's okay. <laughs> Only one person the damn chat. Yeah, true. Hey, at least we have an in game chat. <laughs> Nasu, you cannot be doing that. Hey, I resemble that comment. <laughs> it was a little uncalled for. <laughs> Does not make it better, but all out. Alright, let's not let's not get carried away here. So, is Sheridan going to be joining us tonight? I do not know. I have not heard from him yet today. You should shoot him a message. Hey, tell him. <laughs> uh, be like, uh, get your butt on here. All right, that's. So, let me think here. Grab switch. Yeah, yeah, okay, this I, should be I, good this way. I just I just DM'd them and I was like, hey, Nick says get your butt on here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is not what happened.
fair enough. I think I think everybody has uh, shares that sentiment. <laughs> Y'all need to stop, <laughs> please. Uh, I, I don't I don't want to get in trouble on the internet here. <laughs> We're always in trouble on the internet, whether we mean to be. Or not. Uh, yeah, a slightly fair point. Simply by existing on the internet, somebody is in trouble. <laughs> Two dollars for one fare. Can't be doing this all that fast. Do I have enough room to do the move I want, or am I gonna have? I might actually have to have an extra move in here just because the perk is too big. I think I'm gonna have to make like two extra moves here. Well, maybe maybe one extra move at worst. Let's let's just fuck it. Well, look, looks like uh, Robert made it in here into the call. Hey, Robert. Welcome. welcome. Uh, server info and rules are up there that should give you what you need to join the server. Or, yeah, join the session, rather. I just hate it when you get so hyper fixated on something. And just... <laughs> uh, sorry, what was the rest of that? You kind of cut out on the middle of that. Oh, I, I, I was saying, don't you just love it when you get so hyper fixated on something for like a few seconds that you forget to breathe? Mm, sure. I've noticed I have that happening a lot. I play Railroad Race. I'll just get like super fixated on a specific task and then like seven seconds will go by and be like, why am I starting to feel dizzy? Oh, I'm not breathing. <laughs> yeah, no, I've never had that problem. There. <laughs> Finally. Oh, it's hello. That ADHD, it's hello. that ADHD fixation. Oh, so hello, Robert. Nice to finally talk with you. Please fit. Please fit. Please fit. Please fit. Uh, oh, it's gonna be so close. Oh my gosh, that actually that works. How much room do I have back here? I have like a car's worth of room here. Nice. I really hope those roll where I need those to go. Yeah, Robert has connected. Uh, let me see. Robert, have you been on this session or the server before? Uh, no. I believe he just got gifted a uh, subscription yesterday. Uh. Yeah. 
All right, well, let's get you crew status there. All right, those cars are out of the way. All right, please everything go where I need you to go and let's be happy. Number nine westbound returning to Dillsboro on the road. You know, I probably should have checked if there was a grade here anywhere. There is not. Okay, so there should be, they should be fine. They're just rolling very slowly. These are going to take a while to go where they need to. If I could just like sneak up on these and not even couple to them, that would be just great. I might actually do it. Nice. No couple. All right. Can you tie those down when they get all the way in? Those are good to stop now. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just tie one of them down at least. <clears throat> All right, time for a quick run around. Our number twelve is passing. Uh, yes. I'm guessing we're going to need to uh, move these uh, into uh, position, right? Yeah, we need to connect both of those uh, cuts up. Uh, hook the area to us? Uh, yeah. I think there should be a handbrake on the first and last car here for the empties. Right. <coughs> They're released.
All right, cool. Now to work our way uh, down the hill. Uh, I guess I should pause at some point and actually put out the YouTube notification for the rest of the server. And also turn the little space heater I have off in my room so I don't, like, sweat myself to death here. So, we need to tie down the loaded, and then cut between the loaded and unloaded. And then, I'm going to turn my space heater off. Hey, Nasu, you're clear to head back to... Uh... And then, I'm going to pause for a second here, because i got to put out the YouTube notification. Because Carl didn't want to do his job. Stinking Carl. All right. Go to me. View my own channel. Oh, look at me. Ah. Huh. All right, share. Copy link. Uh, da, 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 YouTube feed. As Carl is being a butt. YouTube. Where is, uh, there it is. Any help there turning that, uh, thing to? Okay. All right. Uh, we properly cut here. Yes, yes. Okay. Cool. All right. So we got three cars. Got to grab the three that are in there, pull them out, put them on the consist, and then leave the empty three in there to replace. Should be a piece of cake.
Nothing more. Oh, yeah. Damn. Uh, air didn't get tied in. Air. Yes. I did not mean to cut that much. Come on. Three, three cars to go. One and a half. Oh. A little more. Should be good. Perfect. Up. Oh. All right, cutaway are loaded. One second. They're cut. Hooray for gravity. This is actually not like a really bad switch pattern. I actually really like how this has been set up. Yeah, well, Shira didn't usually run this line, uh, or branch rather. So, of course, he finds the most ridiculously efficient way of doing it. So last three cars. All right, so we just got to reconnect to our cut and then do the last set. And uh, we'll rinse and repeat uh, at L1. Yep. Right. Uh, the coal tower hopper at Dillsborough is empty. All right. Um, if somebody can switch that out and either just put it in the yard or... I'm sure... Uh, uh... Actually, I don't know whether or not we ought to be running more freight for the rest of the night. 
Or if we just should just sleep. Uh, break is on the last car. No, it isn't. All right, cool. <laughs> what are what are what what? Why are we talking about fairly? I, uh, because I yesterday I put uh the O six O in uh in the roundhouse, and then when I brought number nine back, I realized I need to move the center open. Uh, the park, the Pacific. So I had, I ended up using number five. To oh. All right, time to waddle our way down the line. I want to set that switch. That switch. You'll get to the other end before. Well, you know what? I should have stopped way sooner than that. The Burke technically should not be going through these curves. But yet, here we are. I mean, yeah, 
Number seven has a good whistle. I'm like looking number at five. Good lord. <laughs> what? It's just the Burt going through this section of the track. Yeah. One of these days, you're going to have the Burke up there. They're going to put out an update that actually makes turning radiuses matter, and it's going to be stranded up there. Nah, it's fine. There's a there's a much better looking double Farley. It's the uh, 06 L in the Atlanta. <laughs> oh shit! Do we have clearance on the other track? Uh, oh, yeah, I don't think so. About to find out. Um. Oh, it works. It works. Barely, but it works. It just works. Yeah, it's train master in the back. Well, let's not ask any questions. To be fair, Nick should give me clearance. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I said you should give me train master. And what's your reasoning behind that? Uh, because it'd be the nice thing to do. Mm, that's not how permissions work there, bud. That, and I'm the only one responsible here that hasn't derailed a train out of everyone that pays on the server. Mm. Creek has derailed, you have derailed, Nasty. Has, has derailed. Creek derailed? Uh, I think yes, Creek would has. argue different. Has Crusher derailed? Pressure has. Uh, you know, Robert hasn't derailed yet. Yeah, well, he I think I should make uh, Robert train master. He's, he's he's day one. Let's give him. Let's I'm day one. Come on. I haven't even touched a throttle. Yeah, next, let him drive the Burke. Yeah. How about I no? Him. I call dibs on the C55 when I get it. Just saying. That's you know, point. just because of that, I'm never going to get one now. Like, Krieg has two locomotives. Nasu has his. You have yours. Where's mine? <laughs> um, up a tree around the corner? Sounds about right. Twenty-four thousand. Nasu, you'll may or may not get one for Red Marble, but we're not upgrading the Red Marble anytime soon. We've got plenty of stuff to grind for before we unlock Red Marble. Yeah, we need at least five C fifty five just to deal with Red Marble. And we're going with Jeeps. Well, we really do, do need to change five cars. Driving in first person. Most of my time I spend driving in first person with my head leaning out the window. That's uh, refreshing. Done that in a car doing 80 down the highway. Makes you wonder how the hell they managed to do it in a steam locomotive. Uh, Rob, hold on. <laughs> paying attention here, bud. Hold on. My bad. 
Were there any brakes set on these cars? Yeah, okay. Someone was a little excited to get out of the logging line. <laughs> Too excited to be out. <laughs> it's okay. I don't like being up here either. This is the North Carolina equivalent. North Carolina equivalent of Brazil. If that makes sense. Uh, sure. While Nasu is just doing, you know, a gentle 45 miles. <laughs> All right, let's pick up this load and get out of here. Spicy wheel noises. I'm going less than five miles an hour. Well, to anyone that says you can't take the Berkshire up Connolly Creek, you're wrong. Can you? Yes. Should you? Yes. <laughs> uh, by the way, I turned on your, uh, your, uh, and the train lamps. You left them off. Yes, I got you. <laughs> I mean, you're supposed to have them on anyway. All passengers are loaded. All right, down the line we go. You know, for as slow as uh, you have to move up here, I really wish they would uh, add a Shea into the game. Five-truck Shea. 
Ooh. Color me interested. I don't think there was ever a five truck bay, but there was a four truck. What would be a five truck Shay? Any? Uh, if you want to provide pictures of a Shay that you claim exists, put them in IRL. Shoot, please. No, it, it's it's just a joke. Yeah. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure one doesn't exist. But then again, we've seen pictures of a big boy variant that is Shay, so you know. Might as well add it to the cursed pile of crap. It's yet to be designed, that's why I can exist. Yeah, all, uh, <laughs> all we need is somebody to uh, model and design all the cursed engines and put them in rolling line. Make a cursed railroad. I had take offense to that being from Pennsylvania. <coughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but I still take offense. to self double check Connolly branch uh yeah Nasu, you might want to hold because we're coming down the branch right now man Nassu, you can beat him i mean he is the passenger in trade so he does have pride does he because i'm a burke i go burr but uh nick there you go there's a photo of the ford truck shape for you <laughs> hey nix here's the argument Freight doesn't complain. Passengers do. Jeez. <laughs> uh, almost 45, Nancy. Actually, speaking of which, I'm going to cam ahead here and check. Uh, the switch is already aligned for me to come out of the Y. No, well, I mean, for the uh, east side of the I'm about to hit this hot. So, so somebody's gonna have to stop here because you're coming off the wide. We're about to enter the yard. <laughs> well, sounds like a you problem. Nasu, slow up. <laughs> Nasu, he's not even off the Y yet. We're out here about to play chicken. <laughs> Sixty six, those are weak uh rookie numbers. Hit seventy two and then come talk to me. Hey, you hit seventy five and that's why our uh, safety rating Our safety rating sixty nine because we can't seem to ever get it up. Because every single time it starts going up, you derail. It's <laughs> not me. I blame Dark. Yeah, but it's not my fault. Blame and fault are two different things, Nix. It's your fault. <laughs> Alright, I'm like three cars from getting out of your way, Nasu.
All right, we are clear of the main. Uh, we're going to time skip as soon as I get these logs in. Since we don't really have to worry about filling up the interchange almost every single night, um, I'm probably just going to hit the sleep button. Oops, I need to stop. <laughs> Hello, Christian. Welcome on back. Or welcome on in if you're first time. Hey there, Sue. Although, actually, we probably ought to highball it straight down to uh, the interchange with the Burke before hitting the sleep button. Oh, bo Bobbler. Jeez. A name I haven't heard in a while. Uh, yeah, so if I'm remembering this person correctly, they're someone that used to watch some of my Fortnite live streams about four to five years ago. It has been a minute. that open so the air bleeds. Alright, so where is everybody at and what are we doing here? Okay. Alright, get these uh, switches behind us, Robert, please. That way we can highball ourselves to uh, interchange. Oh, actually, we need to turn ourselves around. Yeah, hop up in the cab. No one's stopping you, Robert. We need to, yeah, we need to turn ourselves around on the Y here first and then head back down in reverse because we can't turn around the Burke. <clears throat> Who else had, had those air hog turf plates? Wait. Nasty, Nasty, why, why are we leaving? Because we haven't gotten any. Uh, sorry, Dark, you were you were saying air hog airplanes? What is it, year 2000 yeah. again? <laughs> yeah, with, you know, the air, the air powered ones, you just flick them, you can, you can pump yep. up with it full of air and just... Flick the propeller in just I, you know what? I remember the name and I remember the brand. Uh, you'd have to show me pictures of exactly what you're talking to or talking about. 
I'm sure I would remember once I once I look at it, but it does sound familiar. Although, granted, Dark, how how old are you? Uh, Thirty-two. Thirty-two. All right. Yeah. So you got a few. You got like five years on me. Oh, that's right. Me and Dark are the same. <laughs> to be to be fair, they were still. To be fair, to be fair you would have been around for for them anyway. <laughs> would or wouldn't? Because I I re like I said I, I remember the brand name I don't I don't remember maybe pl I don't think I ever played with any of them I remember Beyblades being huge as a kid yeah. Beyblades were just a government sign up yeah Bla that 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 is a weird thing Beyblades are like one of the very few things that are like still around oh yeah uh, uh, okay. Yes, I did actually have one of these ones. Yeah, I haven't looked at one of those in a minute. Did you guys uh, hear that the uh, creator of Dragon Ball passed away? Yeah, could you not depress the stream? Sorry. I'm, I'm already trying to cope with the fact that Rooster Teeth is shutting down. No, you don't need to ruin my day. Wait, Rooster Teeth? Yes. Yeah, Rooster Teeth is being shut down, apparently. Ironically, I heard tales that they're shutting it down now. I've heard tales that they're going to shut it down after they finished up with this last episode of Red vs. Blue, which is kind of poetic. But... You know that, uh, honestly, I wish that, I, I hope that is the way that they're doing it, because that would be poetic. Because they did say that this current season of Red vs. Blue is the final season. Um, it's a little bit more unfortunate for Ruby, though. Because I think I, I've heard the talk about them selling the rights off. Which, I was already kind of disappointed as is, considering that Monty died early on, being the original creator of Ruby. Um, and now, like, not even Rooster Teeth, the company, is finishing it. It's going to be somebody else if it does get finished. And that's that's just depressing to me. I'm doing all right, uh, Bob. Just living life, working, enjoying some games. All right, now we can highball back to the interchange. See how fast we can get the bird going. Up to fifty miles an hour. Fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty. Come on, we know the one curve's rated for 72. What is the, uh, this curve rated for? Yes. The one that he's coming up to is he derailed doing 75. It's okay, we're only going 60 right now. I like, how, that. I like how the last car of our passenger train everybody in. Um, Bob, that's the in that's the in game time. That's not the real time. The real time for me, it's uh, six forty two p.m. You want to hear my real time? You're past midnight, aren't you? Zero forty two. Nice.
All right. <coughs> well, NASA, if you want a nice throaty whistle for your passenger train, just shove the whistle down your throat. And scream. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh. Spicy wheel noises. I think the speed limit on that curve was 47. The lean on this engine, I swear, like every now and again, it just honestly seems like it's going to roll off the track. Hello, Chris. We're doing a okay. Welcome on back. We got a Chris Jin, and then we got a Chris Scott now in chat. And we need a Christina. Which is kind of hopeless, because we're all uh, just nerdy guys playing train games. We have a Berkshire, yes. Anything wheeling in Lake Erie is superior. Oh, Dark. Here's a here's a good question for you. Sorry. I don't know if I asked this before. Does anybody make an O gauge um, Mason bogey? Uh, has anybody made a uh, Mason bogey as an operating model? Because, like, honestly, I would love to have a Wheeling Lake Erie Mason Bogey in O-Gage. I think that would just be, like, the coolest shit ever. No, like three rail O gauge. You shut up. <laughs> Who did? Huh. 
Um, share pictures of that. And, uh... It's just pieces. It wasn't, like, it was... Was it ever a working model? Really, that was all that was made. Uh, at least from this one manufacturer of this run. I think my Wheeling and Lake Erie uh, Burke is like one of 20 or one of 50 custom run units. Because quite honestly, ever since I got the one that I've I've got now, I haven't seen another one since. Actually, I can't even remember if I bought that off of Facebook or if I bought that. Where did I get that? I picked it up somewhere. I, I don't remember where. It must have been off of Facebook, I guess. I can't think of like a location. Honestly, um, there's a there's a flea market that we can go to in like the summer months that um, is known to just have like railroad stuff every now and again. My dad actually picked up um, an old Lionel Pennsylvania Flyer set for like I don't know fifty bucks, twenty five bucks, something like that. Cam Freak, welcome back. Also, I, I, I know that's not how you pronounce your name, but that's what I've been pronouncing it ever since you've been in my community, so I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're right, I'm not, but, you know. But uh, yeah, no. Back back to the Mason Bogey. I would love to have one in Wheeling and Lake Erie that operated as an actual model, but I don't think it's like physically possible. It's possible, but uh, you'd have to. I could very. I could see it as a very, very. Difficult. I don't know if they were just. Unless I like kit bash one. Yeah, but Nasu said you can't make me go to Nantahala. I can't hear the other guys. Should be able to hear them. Someone speak? Yep. Okay. Uh, you guys probably don't hear them over the engine. Mama! <laughs> Mama! Yeah, let me let me see if I can fix something for you guys. Do a do a slight turn up on the OBS there. I uh, I do have to apologize though, cause like I recently did uh, redid uh, my audio setup, so there's yeah. uh, there's still some bugs being worked out. Right now we already got the we already got uh, Bryson. We got eight pairs. Eight dollars in fares. All right. Yeah. 
Oh, do I have a, I have a, I have an approach signal. Why? Did someone not normalize a switch somewhere here? Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. The switch coming out of Dillsborough Station was not normalized. Gee, I wonder why. Ow. No one pulled out the uh, hopper from Dillsborough service. Well, I think it also was because I put the bra I put the tray brakes on, so the cars aren't moving. Like All right, we're on a. 10 minute delay now because I have to pull out the hopper from Dillsborough service. I mean, it doesn't exactly have to go. Uh, it really should, though. I know, but we can always take it down tomorrow and call an interchange once we get it down there. Uh, I think we only, I still only get refueled once a day. Nope. Anytime that you call the interchange, if there's something down there that needs to be fueled, they'll refuel. Has that been tested? Yep. Oh. Well, I'm here now, so. Yeah, no, I found I found that out because uh, when I started my new save, um, I start I basically had no coal in the hopper when I started, so I dragged it out and took it over, and then just called an interchange. Uh, brakes on the tank car. There we are. You know, I'm gonna take this in here and then let's see. Let's do one of these numbers. I'm gonna drop that there and then we're gonna run around to put the tank car back. Oh, I see. And then when we go to uh, leave again, we'll just hit that to the back of uh, the Burke and we'll shove it into the uh, interchange. Let's see. But yeah, that's one of the that's actually one of the problems I've been having uh streaming is finding that balance between game sound and Discord audio. It, it just takes some fine adjustments. Like I, I went back and watched part of my stream from yesterday and I could I could hear you and Dark fine, but I could hardly hear Creed. Uh, Creek was a little low at one point. My audio is a, a bit more, um, fine. Because I have one, two, three, four, five, six different, um, audio tracks that I monitor. Um, in OBS. So I can grab like the Discord one and bump that one up on its own, or I can uh, bump something down elsewhere. Oh, the WWNF uh, finished their uh, engine house build. 
Ooh. What is it? Whiskey at Farm Bill and Farm. Whiskey at Here. Farm. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll throw a picture of it for you guys in uh, IRL too. All right, I got that last switch there. Uh, get the switches behind us, please. Right. Uh, okay, my OBS disconnected for a second there. Y'all can still hear me, right? Yep. Okay. We can hear you. Yep. There you go. The photos posted in IRL too. A nice little three, uh, three star. All right, finally on our way to the interchange. Hello, John. Welcome on back. Hopefully, uh, everybody in stream can still hear and see us. Smile. Even though we had a small OBS disconnect, apparently. Oh, there's another car for the interchange, but I'm not grabbing it. Where is that one at? Locust pin. Buried way in the back? No, it's actually it's in the front. But I'm still not yeah, grabbing it. What? Yeah, because when I was down there, I actually shuffled the car so they'd be in the right order. <laughs> wow. Level 175 in Train Station Classic. That's an accomplishment. That's still around? Yeah. Apparently. Is that Facebook only, or can you get that like on mobile or PC? Oh, I believe you can get... I believe you can get it on uh, mobile. Yeah, it used to be. It used to be Facebook exclusive. Because I ha I have train stations too, and I don't really play it. I, well, it's a good thing I don't play it now because that thing can be addicting. But um, maybe you should start streaming it. <laughs> no, that that'd be a boring stream to be honest. You never know. Nice it's just constantly filled with microtransactions. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Well, as if you don't want to wait real time. Hey, Nix. Nix, you should get Deep Rock Galactic. And nope. <laughs> Come on, Rock and Stone, brother. Okay, Robert. No worries. That's okay. We can bit chat uh, Crusher and Craig to get on. And Sheridan, who still hasn't responded to my DM. I don't know what he's up to. He may be asleep, for all we know. Well, that's unacceptable. Rocket Stone's factory must grow. I'm sorry. Was is that Deep Rock Galactic or Factorio? Or Factorio? <laughs> hey, Roberto gets it. What about Satisfactory? That's I've right. I've considered getting that game multiple times, but then I'm like, I just don't feel like doing math. They they do give you all the tools to kind of figure things out. Yeah, I still don't want to yeah. do math. You also just don't have to do the math. You could just do what um, Josh does and just build everything and then shove materials where they go. <laughs> yes, create, create a giant of create a giant tornado out of <laughs> conveyor belts. I prefer the conveyor belt weave, to be honest. Oh, that thing is a masterpiece. You cannot change my mind. Talk, talk about Mr. Bones' wild ride in, in fact, our, in Satisfactory. Uh, did you see um, Kibitz react to one of um, yes. Josh's Satisfactory episode? Yeah, I love Kibitz. He about had a heart uh, meltdown. <laughs> Super computers. <laughs> Hello, brother. Love kids. He reminds me a little bit of um, 
uh, the Fortnite streamer Dakota. I forget what the rest of his tag is. Oh, nice. This should be an easy put. Alright, we're almost in the interchange. Then we can sleep. Then a new day begins. Yep. And then it'll be rush hour for Nasu, and you can go all the way to Nantahala again. <laughs> right, Nasu? <laughs> yes. It's okay. I'm pretty sure we went to Nanta Hollow multiple times this in game day. We went everywhere multiple times this in game day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually good. Do us both a favor, and I'm gonna line us for our <coughs> Time to do some sketchy shit. Do da. Highball! If you say highball enough times, maybe Crusher will show up. Alright, because I'm being lazy, we are dropping this car here. Because fuck the class one. Oops. Apparently more than one of us are doing this all at the same time. I think I'm gonna uh, go now. Oh, yeah, yeah enjoy because, your night. Uh, where Nashu, I have it aligned into uh, Alarka um, onto the Alarka branch. See you, Robert. Yeah, uh, literally about to miss all the fun. All right, I need to put myself on transfer because that is what I'm doing. All right, settings. Uh, sleep. Oh. Um. So much lag. Someone call up Creek because I'm about to cry. Uh, Thirty-five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 67 Wait. cars. Interchange is at capacity. That's good. Uh, scheduled interchange, uh, to be serviced again at 8.30. Oh, good. Two and a half hours. But, uh, let's see. So, we made, uh, uh, 5,883 from Whittier Sawmill, 2,252 from Parsons, 2,483 from Silva. We paid $12 to an engineer. <laughs> Nice. We're at thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five five six four. Oh, if you uh, want, go get that other Jeep. Yeah, I was gonna say we could literally purchase the other Jeep now. Except I don't uh, know yeah, where maybe. it would spawn. The, the, holy shit! I don't think it will spawn. Oh yeah, it won't. Holy fuck! Fuck me. There, I, there I, at, at, at least there's one line of empty hoppers that are all Robinson Cap, but there's still more mixed in the other shit. Am I going to need to bring down number nine? Uh, I don't know, because I don't know what the entire tonnage is going to be. Um, what I do know is I have to pee, and I will be back. <laughs> Pardon me as I go cry myself in the bathroom. <laughs>
Yeah, even I'm looking at this and I'm just like, I would not want to deal with this. So, yeah, oh, it'd be fun. We're not going to have enough room on one track just for Robinson Gap alone. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I, I just tagged Creed being like, help. <laughs> 67 cars at capacity, help. <laughs> yeah, Nick, uh, we have one small problem. Small. Uh, the fact that we there are so many other Robinson Gap cars mixed in the other two lanes, we don't even have enough room on a single track to put all the Robinson car gaps on a single track. Small, small problem, you say. <laughs> You're going to have to drag those Robinson Gap cars out and put them in the siding at Silva. Krieg is responding with a gif of Palpatine cackling maniacally. <laughs> Everything is going according to plan. We just finished um, eating. Going to be like eight fifteen. Do burn the place down. <laughs> uh, uh, he next he posted a gif of of Thanos going. Where, where did that lead you? Back to me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, do you burn the place down? Like, do you mean don't? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Have fun, freight runners. You're going to El Arca. No, you're going. You're going to Nantahala. <laughs> there is also a Larka copper mine in here. Um, should I bring number nine and have it? on standby just to deal with um, Robinson Gap. I feel like that's going to need its own train. <laughs> no, I honestly, I want to see how much of this is like what the tonnage really is going to be like. All right, let me let me dig around. So the rest of you guys uh, start hopping around the industries and picking up what is uh, ready to go for interchange. Way ahead of you. I mean, I I mean, I'm down here with you, and I was gonna help. That's fine. I'll I'll handle it. I have a plan. It's not a very good plan, but I have a plan. The plan is just to go and cry. <laughs> oh, this is only like a thousand tons. I guessing we're taking these up into silver siding. Uh no, I'm gonna start off by actually hooking up to everything. Take it up to Dillsborough and sort it there. Nope. Oh, actually, some of this is kind of like already nicely blocked almost. 
And not all the cars are hooked together. What the fuck is this? Yeah. So many colors. So much pain. And you can't see half of them. <laughs> I... <laughs> I feel tacked, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, um, that's going to be one hell of a payment just delivering all these hoppers to Robinson Gap. I can do that. Well, if you probably go up there, there's probably hoppers already ready to come down. There, yeah, there's, there like, there's like four. Yeah, it needs a box car up oh, there. Oh, right. Uh, speaking of which, is that anywhere in this interchange? Did we see? Should be somewhere. Yes. It is. All right. There good. are there there are there are two in the uh, looking back towards the interchange, the right lane. Oh wait, no. One's a box car. One's. Box cars. I may have made the mistake of dumping all the air, so unless it's got passengers <laughs> unless it's got passengers for a Larka, dude. I mean money is money. Yay, more locust pine. Ooh. Hold on, still charging air. <laughs> I can hear it all the way back here. Just We're at I like we 1,700 tons now. I mean, I mean, we could always, you know, take a break for an hour and come back when Krieg gets on. <laughs> well, on. I can guarantee you Krieg is going to see this, see nothing's been done, and still not help. <laughs> it's like, you guys have been here for an hour, and you didn't get this done? You're fired. <laughs> but Tell I'm me I'm wrong, I'm the Dark. Owner of the rare. <laughs> <laughs> and then you could just be like, but I'm the owner of the rare road. <laughs> Krieg would not give two shits. Then you just fire him for in, for him thinking that he could fire you. How much stopping power do I still have with the independent? Oh, actually quite a bit. Okay. Uh, not in person, Nasu, and I really wish I w can someday. I love Fluffy. Fluffy's Fluffy's funny to watch. Fluffy is love, Fluffy. Ready? Yep. <laughs> with the creek then be Dave the bus driver. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. Um, I don't know how to answer that. Who's Dave the bus driver? Uh, so Dave was the bus driver for Gabriel Iglesias and it's like this southern redneck that just gives no shits. Oh. <laughs> That fucked up my air. Ready? Good. There's brakes on somewhere. Oh, we're at 2,300 tons. That's fine. We're definitely capable of moving this. All right, then let's just drag them out to their destination, and we'll do we'll do uh, 
shunting when we get to each destination. Oh, you know what? What am I doing? This this set's already wittier here. All right. So let me. Yeah, this is this is gonna be fun. Actually, you know what? This really isn't all that bad considering it's gonna have to be resorted at like Bryson. But I can block this into three groups and then the Bryson group's just gonna have to get reblocked when it gets up there. But we're not getting that last set. We'll leave that there. That's a Whittier set. All right. We also have a Whittier... Uh, yeah, that's the next one we're going to have to get out. So we're cutting from Whittier. Yeah, we're going to cut the Nantahala down. I'll put Silva on its own lane. And then we'll reorganize everything at um, Bryson when we get it up there. That's a lot of cars. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm just watching this thing snake away. Air brakes are going to be tricky on this. <coughs> Just use your locomotive brakes. Um, that's a lot of tonnage, even though most of this is empty. Oop. What the fuck? What did uh, you do? I didn't do anything. A line just popped. <laughs> I was just standing here and a line just popped off. I'm like, what? Okay, well. Well, now the air now there is no air in the train. <laughs> Was it when it popped off I don't even know how that popped off because I don't even have an angle where I could have clicked on it because of just how I'm standing. Was like, it right here at this Whittier saw car? Flat yeah. Car? It was it was between the Whittier and the uh uh Larka or Nantahala public delivery car. Uh oh. Does that mean the passenger train's got freight to pick up at Natahala? <laughs> It might, yeah. Naxi, uh, Nassie boy, you're going to Nantahala. <laughs> <laughs> Smile. Smile. Oh, we'll, wait. We'll, there might be we'll, something in Alvin's room, too. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll leave it, um, we'll leave it in, uh, the station siding at, uh, Silva for him. <laughs> and we're just gonna let this, there we go. I just needed to go like a car and a half more. <laughs> Should be enough, right? I'm not yet. There we go. Now we can right stop. Here, right, I'm right here ready for the cut. All right. Now let's see if we can actually push this back up the hill. <clears throat> Oof. Yeah, no problem. Oh, did you cut that already? Yeah, because it, it won't couple back up. Uh, I've had it done it before, but... Yeah, just as long as it doesn't, you know... Uh let out the slack again, then, you know, bunch back up, it won't reconnect. But since we're shoving, it won't. But, uh, yeah, you should be good to stop now. Uh, I'm gonna give it a, a bit more, because I know there's still part of an incline here. Plus, these cars gotta make it all the way down the, down the lane. Shoved them over here. Yeah. Are 
Yeah, just just let them roll all the way down to the end. Now I can kick this uh, Whittier car. Uh, where, wait, where are those, where are those cars, Nasu? And they're for the interchange? Um, just leave them in the Alarca yard. Yeah, I'm coming down with the rest of the copper. The coupler slack going on right now. Holy crap. All right. Um, Deitch, I have another set of cars coming down that left lane. Yep. I got gotcha. you. Remind me, I'm just shift Ring the car to maintain its speed. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of red here. I'm on the left lane cars now. Uh, middle lane's about to have half, uh, about a dozen cars coming down it. Does not look like you gave these videos. <laughs> yeah, cause uh, the Dalesboro calling car here is flying by. Well, they're flying by like ten miles an hour. Uh oh. Nope, nope. I actually control zeroed myself back up in position. Oh, nice.
should be added. There are Whittier cars. Yeah, the, the Whittier cars stopped. <laughs> oh, well, it's fine. They went far enough. It's not like I have, like, 36 more cars to go. Why is there a fuse here? Be a perfect time for my auto clicker. Just have it fire off every millisecond. <laughs> you might as well, because because uh, you're a long way from water from Dante Hala. Oh, yeah, because the car went up there yesterday. Yeah. Oh, actually, we were like really only. St all the Whittier cars are done. It's literally switching just between Silva and uh, Bryson and West. Why is there a fusey here? Yeah, that's what I was asking. It says it's yours. Really? Yep. Oh, because I was probably pressing shift R and actually shift R. Alright, I got a blue car here. How bad would it be to resort the blue line? I'm not terrible. Hopefully none of our uh, cars are getting damaged. No, they shouldn't be. I've been pushing them like slightly above five miles per hour. I think five is the cutoff, unless it's six. Uh, well, I mean, they did up it uh, on one of the updates to give it a higher, like, a higher rate of speed before it starts getting damaged. Oh, did they? What What's yeah. the uh, new upper limit now? I, I don't know what it is, but there was some mention about um, limiting the amount of damage that cars took when coupling over seven miles an hour. Oh, so. okay. I don't know if that means that it's at seven miles an hour that they start taking damage. I don't know. Oh, I got like one more card kick. Nice. I got one day of work left this week before I have two days off, and I, 
I do not feel like going in tonight. All right, not going to lie, I'm kind of re-tempted to resort the left lane. I mean, I say go for it. Just makes the drop-offs easier. Because there's only one, two, three, four... Uh, Appalachians. And there's two cars that's got to come out of Appalachia. At least. Silva's got quite a cut, so whoever wants to be busy for a while, you can come down here. I should be able to haul the rest across map. <laughs> All the hoppers in this train. So many. Uh, there's a lot of disconnected errors. Hey, yeah, in the other direction. There you go. So, next ruling, does 80 take the work of Freda up to uh, the junction, or what's it happens? Uh, sorry, what was that, Dark? Uh, what does the Alarca freight do? Is it just take the freight from Alarca actual to Alarca junction? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay. It'd be the easiest way of doing it, because you're on your own yeah. branch. All right. Um, right. Air's tied in. All right. I'm just trying to think of what I want to do. Well, since we have the most Robbie Gap cars, um, drop the two Robbies at the back here. Drop the two Robbies? Yeah. Tie them off. That's fair. I'll follow you out, Nasu. Well, after I take on water. It's taking on water? <coughs> Even this is already like 44 cars. Yep. And my FPS is not happy about it. I am averaging about 12 right now. I'm getting 20. 21, 23. Well, you're also not down here with, you know, 67, plus, 67 cars plus a Berg. Fair. The FPS Express. <laughs> All right, so we're going to kick the Alarca ones onto the Whittier's lane and then the appellation on the silver ones and then we'll re-grab the cuts as we want to stack the train so this one is going on this track so the alark is going on the right track with the whittier ones 
And then the Appalachian will be on the middle lane. One car to clear. Is being cumbersome? So which cars are we cutting here? Just, just, the, just the Appalachian, yeah. What we get? Oh, that Alarca one should have gone way further than what it did. Yeah, that that was that was my bad. And then the, get this left lane. We are cutting the Robbie Oof. gap. is center. Yep. Hello. Sticks. Oh, Stick is here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we gotta go slink on back here. Can you imagine doing a uh, silver interchange with the Shay? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, honestly, I don't think it would be all that bad. Uh, sil sil silver paperboard number two. <laughs> <laughs> sticks. I like my sticks. Sticks and spawns. <laughs> you want to try that one again, Dark? <laughs> we produce more than just sticks. We also produce logs. Good right there. Perfect. And good back. All right, all the way up to center. Anything for the uh, stick man to do? Uh, um, yeah, a lot. We just started a new interchange day. Yeah. Ah. This to be a stick and interchange. That's good. And a Larka, so Ford. Yeah, I'm just. I gotta let it coast. 
Yeah, stick. There's going to be um, quite a bit of cars for Silva. Yeah. I mean, Sawmill's cars need to go as well. Yeah. So I mean, pick your poison. Whatever you want to work right now for the time being, while we're still sorting out interchange. Hmm. Hmm. Got him. There is so much slack in the train. Oh my god. Oh yeah, there's still like 32 cars. <laughs> so Robinson Gap. Right. So we're going. Yeah, left. it's gonna be splits now between Robbie and Alarca. There's no more Appalachian. Alrighty, and uh, you are you are good back. Yep. I know what poison I'm going to be taking. That's good, right there. I'll use number eight to move the cars bound for the interchange at, here at Whittier. Into a siding ready. Good time right. too, because I'm because I'm just because I just left a Larka yard. That is good. It's literally back and forth. <laughs> Look at all these hoppers. <laughs> I need to do a I count of just one. hoppers here on this console. Okay. Good back. At like three or four more sets. I I just keep putting myself in between the cars before every shove. You're good back. That's good. Yeah. Ready, good back. Oh. We're working. We're at, we're operating like a well-oiled machine now. <laughs> yeah, we're a hump yard. Shocking light. Back. All right, cool. Only like two more, and then we can actually start putting this together. Right, good back. And that's good speed. And good back for the final. All right, there's like one last move I want to do is I want to grab all the Robbie Gap cars, pull them out, and then switch the one the box car out from like the second to last car. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we're just good. to not we're be a dick now. to everybody. <laughs> well, hold on, I'm trying to think. If anything, we should put that box <clears throat> car in the very end. That way, when we bring when we bring those cars up. I, I just want it on one end of the yeah. cut. Ready? Yep. You're good back though. I mean, I had the best end of the content on this. Yeah, <laughs> in between the cars. <laughs> Uh, go through all those hoppers that are down the lane there and make sure none of them have their brakes on. Uh, which one? Which? Uh, all the, all the, all the Robbie hoppers. Uh, the only one on the Robbie hoppers that has a brake on is these. 
All right, then we should be able to hook everything up and keep moving. Wow. <clears throat> Push and shove, I guess, rather. I got you. Oh, not all the cars made it down. Yeah. Oh, you're on your way back to Bryson then there, <laughs> Nasu? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. All right, so we just want to grab the boxcar, leave that one hopper in the back there. We'll pull the boxcar out and then shove all these hoppers back in and then grab the boxcar. <laughs> and then re-pick up all the hoppers. That are still coming in. Holy crap, there's so many of these fuckers. <laughs> the, ma the majority of our, of our freight is just coal and copper. And I'm still not all the way in the lane. <laughs> and we're at we're at the end of this lane too. Yeah. All right. Um. So. Uh, I I am missing one. I'm missing one car. Yeah. We want to draw. We want to leave this hopper here, this last one here, and then bring the box car out, and then we're gonna put the box car ultimately behind the engine. All right. We are good for. Nope, leave the hopper. I mean, oh, okay. I mean, we could have just dragged it with us and then cut it right well, back. Well, all the end. hoppers are going to have to come back in here and then more. So just, just watch what we're doing here. We're going to pull everything out. We're going to put the boxcar on one lane. And then we're going to shove all the hoppers back in. Pick up the boxcar, and then pick up the hoppers, pull all the hoppers out, pick up all the Alarka hoppers. And then we're going to go for the Appalachian, and then the Whittier, and then we'll be out of here. Oh, so we're dropping this boxcar, then shoving the uh, Robbie Gap cars back down? Yeah. And then we'll pick up the boxcar? Yeah. That way, the boxcar is on the right side of the consists for when we go and take all these up to Robinson Gap. So we're cutting it down the center? Or? It doesn't matter. Center will probably be the easiest real quick. How much water you got? How much water? Wait. If you want to kick this, that works too. All right, switch this back over. You're going to have to decouple on your end. Well, we're going to be literally all the way in the lane and then some, so. I'll just wait here. I 
did you do, Nasty? He's still rolling. Hey, we're at 75 operations, baby. Hey, let's fuck it up. <laughs> no! Your wish Nassie, is fucking in. Na Nassie, well, no, I thought Nassie might have. <laughs> yeah. Let's not ruin a good day. It's only taken us, what, five, six sessions to get to the next day? <laughs> At this point? Yeah. You got so many cars to go, man. Yeah, I know, but I gotta hook up to this one and then shove it. Oh, the pain. All right, that should be clear. At least Creek isn't here to yell at us for bottling cars. How could you bottle up cars? That's okay, I dumped all the air in them anyway before you bobbled them. Why would you do something like that? Um, good railway practices? Sorry, railroad practices? I don't want to sound British here. Give me English. English. Yeah, just doing some switching here. Or shunting, sorry. Oh wait, switching. So many colors. I just paint the P forty three blue and bam, Gordon. <laughs> no. I I thought it would have been the blue comet. Comet. All right, so we just need this box car. Fuck off with the bell. You know I am semi right. No, you're not. Oh, we still have like 12,000 gallons of water. Word. What, what rare reporting mark is GCM? What? What rare reporting mark is GCM? I have no idea. GCF, GCF. Great Canadian no, land. L. L, not L. Great Canadian land. GCL. Oh, Canada. Yeah, Golf Charlie Lima. Gotta wait for the air to recharge. Right? Uh, Gulf Coast Lines. That would do it. Which? Uh, Gulf? Gulf Coast. Okay. I thought you said golf. I was like, which course? Uh, preferably one in Scotland. <laughs> if you ever want the greatest comedy skit of all time, Robin Williams on the creation of golf. I was literally just thinking about that, actually. <laughs> I've seen that clip. And you just do it once? No! 18 fucking times! <laughs> uh, world's a sadder place without that, man. He, he even died after uh, George Carlin did. Really? Yeah. George yeah. Carlin kicked the bucket in 2007, I think? 2010, Six. maybe? 2006? 
I believe it was 2006. It was 2006 yeah. or 2007. He died at the age of 72 to a stroke or heart attack. Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, let's see, uh, 2008. Wow. Was he 72 years old? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Oh! Uh, 71. Damn. I'm off yeah, by Robin one on Williams. all accounts. Ro Robin Williams was uh, August 11, 2014. At uh, this <laughs> basically, uh, I was thinking there's only a few co hopper cars at uh, Robinson. No, all the hopper cars are gone up there. So uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drag him down the mountain while I'm waiting for you, slow pokes. <laughs> uh, yeah, because you're you got about another 32 hoppers coming your way. <laughs> Sorry, 31 in a box car. Just I mean, for at, 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 at the rate that we're going, once we get all this sorted out, the next interchange is going to come in. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, we could just wait for the next interchange to come in. It's not It's not going to bring anything. It's just the uh, interchange rescheduled for outbound, I think. Because the console said we were at capacity. Well, that's why I'm saying drag all the cars out and then just wait. <laughs> yeah, we're already at tonnage. That's you know what? That's why nine and ten are down here now. They can do the backup interchange. No, that's what that's what two and three should be up there for. <laughs> the two and three couldn't haul shit together. Oh no, I used to do about fifteen hundred tons with the both of them between two. I mean, to be fair, we've got thirty-two cars. They're all empty hoppers, and we're only shy of twelve hundred tons. Head back to more empty hoppers. Yeah. There. More? Yeah, we, we've got enough crap to fill up Alarca Junction proper. Or Alarca, yeah, Alarca Junction entirely. Yeah, we got a Nantahala in front of the last Alarca box. Yeah, well, fuck them. Someone's going to have to sort it. <laughs> There's a lot of airlines that need to be hooked up. All right, so we got two more moves. Uh, got to pick up Appalachian next, and then Whittier last. Happy Friday. Hello, frame rate. Oh, you oh, wow. just missed a single, single boxcar. Yeah, and said, <laughs> well, to be fair, we only have three boxcars on this cut. <laughs> uh, the empty pulp woods are actually almost ready to go, too. <laughs> I mean, admittedly, I'm going to have to get off here soon. Yikes. Getting tired of my back. This working thing sucks, yeah. <laughs> the power came on today at 2 a.m. So we're going center lane, right? Yeah. Here. This train is so long that at this point I would not be able to pull out the uh, the bulkhead, the empty bulkhead cars to take up to Whittier with us. All 
All right, so you're gonna have to cut the Appalachians. There's one airline open somewhere. And I rehooked because coupler slack. Nope. Yeah, back it up. I, I went to go check uh, a hose. And it and it was the hose that I disconnected to. There's a coupler about... slack almost backed it up entirely. <laughs> All right, everything is hooked up. I, I need to find that. It's the one between uh, Alarca and Appalachian. There we go. Just chugging away. Chugging. The amazing part is I think literally almost every car on this consist is empty, which is why the weight is so low. Because we're at 1,500 and we're at 44 cars. It's a nice yellow painted uh, nickel plate car sitting back there. All right, time to get the weight of your set. You want me to just control our these cars <coughs> to you? Nope. <laughs> it's not how this works. Chuck gone away. Do you need to get the uh, Zuma's mod that reroutes empties between industries? It's absolute hell. That actually sounds fun, to be honest. Oh, yeah. I think he's talking about the mod that basically, like, creates, like, proper captive freight. So, like, cars that you drop off at one industry to get filled up with a supply go to another industry on your line. Uh, yes, I believe it does require room. I'm honestly about to try rail, rail, rail loader to try that uh, map additions mod because it's like all the additional track sounds really nice. We should start as simple and get uh, just get the whistles. Yeah, all these sawmill cars are empty, so our tonnage is not going to be over 2,000. Still need a triple head. <coughs> well, it, it barely even added 100 tons, to be honest. There's two handbrakes on. Uh, yeah, working on it. Two cars in for the end. Nice, 51 cars, 1,600 tons. Piece of cake. Long-ass consist, but piece of cake. 
Uh, you disconnected. All right, that just went missing. Must have lost internet. Yeah. Now the debate if it's worth, you know, whoever works, Silva can pull out the, um, all wood cars. This is a consist, and I love it. So many hoppers. Number eight going on coffee break. So, uh, I, I don't know what happened. I could still hear you guys, but my entire computer froze up, so... I'm gonna have to... Yeah, so... I'm gonna I'm drop from the call, because I don't have headphones on in my phone, but, uh... I'm gonna have to shut down and restart my computer, so... Yeah, I'll, good. I'll be back. What of you? <clears throat> yeah, the the map additions that add like the mod that adds more track. Adds like a Wyatt Silva interchange, like stub lanes in Silva interchange, stub lanes at Whittier um, interchange, and then there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Mm. God, this is such a satisfying consist. It's almost all hoppers, and I freaking love it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. <sighs> Alright, you want me to leave 80 at. Uh... Lurker Junction for the moment. That eighty twenty. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <coughs> we All need right. to renumber that one actually. And speaking of which, uh, I had to break the train up into into both tracks at uh, at Alerca Junction. <laughs> Sawmill cars have been shunted. Need to go to uh, Sylvia now. Old bitch is uh, actually calling it a night. You're getting off. Sir. No, ditch it is. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah he, he put in the VC text channel, uh, actually I'm just gonna call it a night here, I'll catch you guys later. Oh, shame. Oh yeah, good though. Yeah. Kinda makes sense though. If he's turning PC off, he might as well go. Yeah. Uh, feel better then, uh, Chief. So, uh, got any more poison for me? Uh, Silva needs to be worked out of the interchange in the next hour and a half. Uh, huh. You got no more power over there. I guess I'll just... Why? Of course you trapped five there. Who trapped five? Is those, are those passenger cars still there? 
No, they're not. Okay. Where'd the passenger cars go? Unless Nasu took them. Nasu re retook them. Right. Shaw sure likes to uh, take things. Yeah, they were completely repaired, so they needed to go back on uh... the train. Yeah. Hmm. Which, if if uh, if Silva is no longer taking care of Wilmot, do we need does the does the route need to get edited? Uh, we're probably overdue to re-edit some of the some of the crews and whatnot. It's just Sheridan hasn't really been on in a while, and we haven't like broken it down. Uh. Oh God, this is a train. Yeah, I'm going to be taking up the line a little bit here for a minute or two. I just got to have a clean line through Dillsboro and Dillsboro service, which looks like I do. I spy with my little eye. I see a spot dark rider. Hey. Hey, how are you? Not bad, you. Oh, you know, doing well, doing well. Guess we're shunting buddies again. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Whoa, how much... How little coal is... Why did it stop taking coal? Maximum coal load on five is four ton. Oh. oh, that's right. I got mods. That's why it's so looking so weird for me. <laughs> yes, you muppet. <laughs> oh god. How do muppet like you make it past the action? <laughs> I don't mind this I... glorious cut of cars. What the hell? God, I can't wait until we get like tier five Alarka, and then we just have sixty hopper cars rolling around the map at all times, oh my if not more. God, you... you weren't joking. That is a train. Actually, let me check the Alarka stuff. Hmm. Nope. Still can't upgrade the copper mines yet. Damn. <clears throat> know what I think number five needs? What? Cat boots. <laughs> Next, can we get a caboose for number five? Yep. Oh, Useless I, I waste of money. Weren't, weren't you just going to get another Jeep, G, a GP9? Yeah, that too. Oh, uh, we'll just use that as a caboose then. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Did call it, uh, episode 3, okay. Oh, no. It's Mr. Railroad uh, Protocols. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Rules and Regulations. How can we help you? Oh, you're just in time to see my suffering. Oh, good. I will log on for uh, forthwith here. Do haste. Uh, Dites, we're not even at tier four yet. For copper. He's not even in the channel anymore. Yeah, he's in stream or in oh. chat and stream. We we got a few cars this interchange. I'm hauling them out now. I I heard. Wait, you only just got to haul them out now? Well, yeah. I've been hauling them for a little bit, but My. I just got through the tunnel. Well, 
Damn Half it. my train got uh, halfway through the tunnel of the Cowie. It's okay. My night's already better than yours because I have Girl Scout cookies. Oh boy. Hey. Oh, yeah. I provided for him. Don't let him, don't let him pull you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how I got him. I got him. You know, I'm starting to love your girlfriend already just because of that statement. <laughs> So, where are you, heathens? I'm uh, at milepost 50. I just I just started uh, making my way towards uh, Silva with number 5, but I'm picking up some... I'm doing a little bit of switching before I go that way. Uh, so, I'm currently in hell. Because uh, I'm a heathen. So. I'm currently taking up half the main of the map. Yes. Oh, yeah, and then... Uh, I pulled down the I pulled down the coloads from Robinson to Alark uh, Junction and pulled up the Alark stuff as well. So you only have 53, 52, 51 cars in tow. What are you talking about? Seventeen hundred yeah. tons. Still a nice little choo choo train. Dark. What? Did you take number five handbrake off? Yeah, why? Because it's showing purple on my side. Huh. <coughs> Good news is, we have enough money to buy another Jeep. Oh. And the interchange is getting serviced in like an hour and 15 minutes, so we need to get all the silver cars out of the interchange in that time. Oh. Huh, as soon as we coupled to the cars, it sorted itself. Great. Like I said, that's a really... decent string of silver cars. Holy crap! Oh, uh, what all the Robbies? I saw those. Those there's a lot of those too. Yeah. Yeah, there's like thirty some of them. So is five gonna service all the silver cars? Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh -uh. Nasu, you better pick a spot where you want to sit in the siding, um, and it's probably going to have to be Whittier Interchange because I physically cannot fit anywhere else. Actually, that's a lie. I think I probably could fit and maybe Thomas Valley. But I also don't want to stop this monster of a consist. Did you guys intentionally leave all the pulpwood empties up at Silva? Uh, they weren't empty. Um, they weren't I empty left. at the time. They are now. I guess they come down with the next interchange. Yeah. Um, Nasu, I'll I'll take the hole. I guess in Thomas Valley. It's going to be close, though. There's no way in heck that train's going to fit in Tom's Valley. Well, we're going to find out. One of us is going to end up in the hole. One of you is going to end up seesawing. Can we not... Fuck up the safety rating anymore. Thank you. Uh, Nasty, I'm gonna beat you there. You're more than a mile and a half out. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, I'm not convinced that you would fit in there. I'm not either. I would Seriously. more advise that the passenger train take the hole. Alright. Then Nasu can take the hole. Freight's more important anyways. Yikes. Whoa. He's the same distance. Uh, 
he's a little bit further away from his end of, end of the sighting, but he also is traveling a little faster. Nasu, I'm going to set you for the hole then. This is when you find out the switch won't throw! <laughs> yeah, because I padlocked it. I'm only going at a speed of 35, so he's probably going to beat me into it, maybe. He's only got three quarters of a mile to go, as do you, so... We're about to play Unstoppable. Oh no, not again. Unstoppable if you guys, or, or if you guys can do pull off a rolling pass, that would be awesome. What? Something tells me Nasu has a throttle all the way out because he's really hauling ass. Yeah, he just said 50 in all caps in the chat. <laughs> so I'm assuming he's going 50 miles an hour. Hopefully not into the hole. What's that, the honey? switch is lined for him. <coughs> and that's how the safety rating went down again. Oh, well, I looked I like see. he slowed up. Yeah, he, he took a hell of a bite of air. Get your butt in the sighting, because here comes the freight train. <laughs> FPS Express. <laughs> He's all the way in. But there's no way I'm going to be able to pass him entirely before he gets to the other end of that switch. Faster, faster. I'm only going 40. It's going faster as, as fast as it can. Oh, well, no. Yep, that'll be it's a rolling pass. <laughs> it's perfectly timed. Get the switch behind you. Oh, I also would have totally fit in the hole. Not by a lot, but yes, you would have. But was it worth the gamble? Yes. No. All right, I need to work my way into Whittier Interchange. We have a drop-off. Oh, that is not the lane I want. I want to be in this lane here. <laughs> That's what she said. I don't remember what to what, but. There's just something satisfying about seeing a whole bunch of hoppers in a line.
Oh, spicy arc leans. How come these cars didn't get up to the interchange? Uh, because we slept after we did our last delivery. Oh. Why? Um, because the interchange can go out at any time, basically. So we're not at a complete rush to get everything at the end of the day. That's all the fun. will do. Wow. I didn't even ask for it. <clears throat> uh, looks like logs need to be done again. There's plenty in storage at the sawmill. I would prioritize getting the pulpwood down and the train headed back east because there's only an hour till interchange. My opinion. Well, I gotta get the rest of these cars where they need to go, so anybody else is welcome to jump and have some fun. So what's... I know what Theo's doing. He's working up top, right? Yep. Okay. I will get this done as quick as possible. Oh my god, I'm gonna have... I know what I'm gonna do. Also, to be fair, they gave us only two and a half hours from the first interchange to the second, rather than the four oh, I that know. we usually get. It ma it makes it a mad dash. But don't worry, I have a solution. GP9 eastbound out of Bryson. Uh, would you rather me... Well, what are you doing with that Jeep? It's going to run the stuff up from Whittier, but 8's got to go up and grab the pulpwood, but I need something with enough horsepower to get it done quick enough once I have everything down at Whittier. 
Oh, okay. So I was gonna say I'm was... just I'm just burning time to get it to Whittier, so you know I don't do everything and then have to run this 20 minutes to Whittier still. Well, I was gonna say I, I was also thinking of buying a uh, second GP9 now that we have the money. I mean that's great, but it's gonna be at the wrong end of the railroad. That's what I'm saying. True. So this Jeep Nine is headed towards you. Where are you? Cause I'll set. I'm at Whittier. Meet up. You're at Whittier and still going. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna tuck it in the sighting at Ela. Um, so then I'll let it back out when you pass Ela. Okay. I think that should be close enough. Let's see, what do I got? One, two, three, four miles. You have two. Okay, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna tuck it in at Governor's Island. I also have a 30 mile per hour limit right now, so. Yeah, but it being light <coughs> engine even. It would be hard to beach it to the west end of Ela. This consist is now almost entirely hoppers. Cow. Moo. I may have forgotten to moo twice already this stream. Yeesh. To be fair, we were we were a bit of a bad dash here, so. Yeah. <clears throat> Why am I yellow? What do you mean? All right, I'm about to approach uh, Ela here. Creek's being lazy. Well, I'm running A and the Jeep at the same time, so...
So yes, I'm being a little lazy. There's a car here at uh, Ela that has to go to the interchange as well. So is that uh, like a wink, wink, nudge, nudge, pick it up on your way through? It's, you know, whatever the fuck you want to do. Again, we can reschedule the interchange wherever we want. Oh, I know. I, j I just like a challenge. All right. Stick disconnected. Uh, hello, SJB Media. Looking for an idea of what a first good investment is for the game. You're at a, roughly $11,000. Looking at either the Login Mikado or Decapod. Uh, Decapod is definitely going to be the stronger of the two. Um, you're going to have to grind a little bit more money first. <clears throat> Although diesel is surprisingly efficient. Yeah. $236 for 67 fares. Nice, Nasu. Um, for us media, uh, in case you're curious, we kind of just invested in almost everything as we went. Um, but our situation was a little bit different because we have um, a number of people that were playing with us. So at one time we needed basically an engine for everybody. Now we have a whole bunch of engines and um, some of which could honestly be sold. No, I don't think so. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Look, there's our Jeep. Let me know when you're clear east end of Governor's Island. Yeah. We actually probably would not have even fit. Yeah, we would not have fit in Governor's Island. Even with the shorter train. The reason I say we really can't sell any is because they're going to be useful to redistribute when we expand. And also, um, you still don't have everything at Tier 5. Yeah, I'm clear of East uh, and of Gov Island. And from experience, tier five, every industry currently connected gets intense. Yeah, we also don't have everything. That is also true. Rare and rubber, baby.
All right, we have a drop for Appalachian Hardwood. Ooh, money. Dude, the AI wastes no time blasting out of a sighting. It's kind of scary, actually. <clears throat> yeah. Just run eight until it reaches 35, and it's just like, Jesus. Yeah, so we have, we have the decapod. The 10 wheeler, is that not the decapod? No. No. Oh. oh. You're referring to them. I thought we had both the T-17 and T-21. We do not have a T-21. Huh? I do. You don't. Huh. Well, there's not really any point in buying it now. No, not particularly. Poor thing. All right, about to enter Bryson. Get that majorly slow down here. Oh, nice. $400 for 143 fares. That's why I came down here to check these switches. All right, Nasu, enjoy your night, and thank you so much for hanging out. This is still a monster of a train, holy shit. We need to get Nix on the other server, Theo, and so he can see the monster interchange train. <laughs> and you you don't even you, and for the longest time you didn't even have a Larka. <laughs> Not a Larka, but uh, Silva <laughs> unlocked. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll tell you what. Let me get all these cars uh, transferred, and then we can maybe pop over there. Up to you. Um, I mean, I'm already would... over three hours in stream, so I don't, I don't mind stopping at this point. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. I do. Have... Silver I mean... cars are clear of the interchange. My Jeep is waiting for me. Well, not my Jeep, but the Jeep.
Time to get this engine moving again. I need to pick up water before I even go any further. Really? You're low on water on that thing? I mean, I have shy of 10,000 gallons, but... I'd rather just do it now since it's convenient rather than wait until way after. Mm. <coughs> I like the changes to the new interchange. Uh, I miss those. Because uh, we ended up getting all three lanes filled with 67 cars. Oh, those changes. Yeah. Yes. Plus the hostile freight made it better. And using this one water tower that I don't think anybody on the server has used yet. Which one? Which water tower? <laughs> the one on the um, not far off of the west entrance of uh, Bryson. Oh, I might have used it once, maybe. It is a it is a very good spot to have it. It's just normally there aren't engines sitting there too long waiting to get by, so. Yeah, at least not for us. Not yet, anyway. See what happens when Andrews becomes a thing. And Bryce and the Andrews becomes a uh, twice or three times daily freight. Let's me have my own little water break while I'm getting water. My uh, water bottle seems to have a leak around the lid. That's not acceptable. <laughs> Although, to be fair, it's not a water bottle that you would lean far enough over to begin with to have it leak, but... Because it has a straw and a filter. All right, um, so I think I want to be oh God, I see twenties at the uh Larka Junction. yes, yeah, if you want me to leave it there, and you said yes. <laughs> I for, I forgot I told you about told you to do that. All right. Well, thankfully the Alarka and the one not to holo car is not all that much, so I can slink that into the the one lane that's open and then um, reverse the entire consist up Robinson Gap. Which shouldn't be a problem, because it's only 1,300 tons. It's just awkwardly long. Zoom, zoom, zoom.
thirsty engine. The AI does not believe in sighting switches. It's like 25 through a sighting switch? Yes. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Well, you know what? While I'm thinking about it, let's take a look at what Robinson Gap looks like. Is it completely empty? Yes. Nice. There's eight. Right on time. <laughs> speed restrictions? Nah, speed suggestion. It's like the speed zones or uh, speed limits here in America. Hmm. Although, I guess, depending on the state, because some of them are not suggestions, they are actual restrictions and they will nail you. Are we talking? Yeah. Are we talking that one town in Virginia? Oh <laughs> uh, no, I was I was actually going to reference um, just outside of DC, where the cameras will in fact get you for going one mile over the speed limit. Why am I not surprised? DC's ugly when it comes to traffic and traffic violations. All right, we can get underway again. So many hoppers. The absolute amount of tonnage this is going to return is going to be gnarly. How many hoppers? Uh, 30 plus. Yeah, 31 for like Robinson Gap, another half a dozen for Alarka. You're looking at probably. Two and a half, three thousand tons out of Robinson Gap. Yeah, something like that. I, I can do a count later when I get the cars up there. Here we go, time to climb.
that moment when you back three cars over a switch because you thought you threw it and you didn't. Oh, yikes. Like, shit. Welcome back, John. Come on, eight. Let's go. Why does the mogul feel so underpowered? Uh, the mogul like barely handles everything up there. Hmm. Yeah, I'll look at it then. Actually, which uh, mogul is that? That's the. That's the G25. G26. Yeah, oh, jeez. Even the. SW1 would be so much better for that line. ourselves to get into our conjunction yard. All right. Oh yes, I can totally reach the bag that is like eight feet from me. Yep. Stretch. And only you only have a salad. Hmm. Oh uh, hey, Creek, would you believe it? Our safety rating's up to seventy five percent now. You're welcome. <laughs> you know, that's fair. <laughs> so, and I'm going to explain this on mic so that they hear the background conversation. So, in this game, the railroad has a safety rating. And these chuckleheads over here are less than stellar about taking care of their own equipment. It's not even my railroad, so they crash their own engines. I have yet to damage any of their equipment. So, Nix, <coughs> who's hosting the server, decided That's to me. comment, Hey, Nate, so our safety rating's back up to 75%, which you don't want to know what it was down to. And I said, all, all I said was, no, it wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't 15%. No, no, no. It was 69% uh, earlier. 69-ish. But... <laughs> no, no-ish. It was 69%. We have stream proof. So, when he said uh, we're up to 75%, all I, <laughs> my only comment to him was, and you heard it, you're welcome. And all he had to say was, fair. <laughs> At least somebody's doing something right around here. Like me, who just dumped the train because I wanted to stop sooner than it was going to. Yay. All right. That's what that breaks for, right? That's what I thought. Trying to keep uh, Sheridan's cars straight. 
because I have no idea what his switching method is, but I'm going to try to keep all the cars that say the same destination together. And hopefully that flies. Should work out. My Jeep is probably stopped at a red signal. I'm not even paying attention. Yeah. Is it? It, it's, it did say red. Holding a red board. Uh... Can you tell it to bypass the signal? It'll go to the next spot, which is where I want it. I don't know how to do that. Uh, Theo, can you tell it to bypass? I'm kind of in the middle of shoving up a hill. It, it'll bypass, it'll go into Whittier Yard and go to the east end of the yard and hold on the empty track. Uh, Unfortunately, just... though, I don't foresee me making interchange. Because no. eight is too frickin' slow. Orders pass signal. Yeah, well, I'll just, we'll just have to call another interchange. Uh, you want to hit, also tell it to resume speed or no? Because it's going at restricted. No, I'll leave it at restricted. As long as it clears the Y before I get down there, which it will, it's not a big deal. Fair. Alright, time to get this monster in here. Oh, I forgot there was a water tower up here. Oh, am I going to be able to shove this tonnage, or did I just screw myself again? Oh, I know what I can do. The sad part is I'm going to have to stick the like majority of this train to the beginning part of the Alarca line just to get the cars in. Really? <laughs> yeah. I'm going nose first into Alarca's branch because I had the tail end of my train is the Alarca cars that I had to drop off in the yard. And then I'm reversing I mean... out of that Y up Robinson Gap in reverse. Hmm. Normalize my switches here. And going and going and going. <clears throat>
All right, well, 20's got some work to do now. All right, cool, and we're set to go up Robinson Gap. Awesome. So yeah, I have uh, 31 hopper cars for Robinson Gap. Jeez. And the mining supplies box car. And then I just delivered six empty hopper cars for Alarca. Pulpwood's on the way down the mountain so I'm about hmm, five ish minutes from everything uh, being ready to go here cool um, am I gonna ride the Gettysburg and Northern Railroad um, I've currently got no plans to do so it's isn't not that the one with York I don't know. I'm, I'm not actually familiar with this particular line. I know it's obviously in Pennsylvania, but it's not in my side of the state. That's actually quite a bit of a stretch out of my way, even from where I grew up. Yeah, really. I mean, even get Gettysburg for me is a couple hours. Um, at some point, I would like to do cast this year. Um, and then we'll be doing the narrow gauge convention in Pittsburgh this year as well. Where is the chooch? Should be almost down the hill by now. It is. Okay, cool.
All right. I had to tune out there for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but I am now finally arriving in Robinson Gap with a ton of hoppers. That will very easily fill up one lane, minimum. Uh, Jay Baker says, if you go to cast, don't sit near the loco without earplugs. Uh, your ears rang for three days after doing this, but it was awesome to see. Um, I've been to a tractor pull in Ohio with tractors with also that have jet engines on them without earplugs. I, I think I'm, I, I think I'm good. <laughs> already half deaf. <laughs> yeah, kind of already there. I told you that. That's why I brought your laundry in, remember? Ah, shit. Oh, I went too far. This is going to be a good payday just delivering these hoppers. Oh, yeah. Was it like seventy dollars a car? Animal? Seventy, eighty-ish. <laughs> well, at least fifty. But if you get the bonus, yeah, more like seventy. We'll see. Will all these cars fit in one lane? No, no, ops, definitely not. I think it's like twenty cars a lane, or twenty-three cars a lane. <laughs> I'm about to beat that Ouch. absolute snot out of this Jeep 9. How much money was that? Oh, jeez, that was almost two grand. That's not even all of them. <laughs> and swipe the throttle. Sixteen hundred and forty-five tons. Let's see if the little Jeep can do it. We're just going to take these all the way back.
and money. All right, and then I just got to get this into the supply track. See, there's supposed to be a light on the control stand that tells me if I'm in wheel slip or not, but there's not. Yeah. Alrighty. Alright, um, so where's everybody else at? What are we doing? I am uh, a mile from Wilmot. I am in the middle of dropping off the last three hoppers, of dropping off the last three loads at Silva Paperboard, then I'm going to start pulling things out, including the including the pull point. Yeah, okay. Get everything shoved together, then hopefully I can get make it to Dillsboro, but uh, something that tells me that uh, Krieg's going to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a lot of tonnage for one chooch. All right. Well, while you guys are doing that, I'm gonna start working my way down the hill. And immediately, there's already a hopper car here. <laughs> Guess I guess I'm as well grab it. <clears throat> And then I guess I'll prep myself with the um, coal cars that are a Larka Junction right now. We're uh we're making some money. Oh, 
All right, steal in the first car and come back down. Robinson Gap is such a slow descent. Yeah. As at least it's not a long one, but... It is definitely one you have to watch yourself on. Yeah, if it was, like, as long as Connolly was and 15-mile-an-hour speed limit, I would just die every time going up and down that. All right, let's get organized here.
All right, almost there. Come on. Back it up. Ugh. Uh, we apparently received 17 cars. It's about right. I'll take a peek because I'm practically right there. I'm taking a gander too. Larka, Stenzel, Locus. Oh, it's almost like mostly Silva and Whittier. Oh, nope. Two Appalachians in there. Three Appalachians. That's easy shunting. Climb, baby, climb. It's weird, though, that they gave us another one because they said it was at capacity the last interchange. All right, I gotta... You. And you. There we go. Uh, is it possible to drop off passengers from a Larka branch to be picked up on the main line uh, and vice versa? I believe so, Jacob. I don't know nothing about that. Yeah, we're... The the one person that uh, runs passenger service for us is uh, not here right now, so I don't know the exact answer, but I believe that should work. That uh, passengers should transfer if you have one train running from Alarca Junction to Alarca and then vice versa. Oh right. boy, next. Oh boy. I've got 2,000 tons of freight. I got the Jeep 9 on its knees at 13 and a half miles an hour. Oh boy. Where are you at? the tunnel oh wow I see you I should be able to see smoke out them stacks at this point I can smell the traction motors Yeah, uh, Jacob, just the only thing, don't quote us on that. We're not 100% sure, but I think that's something I've heard before. So uh, go ahead, give it a test. Um, if you figure it out, let us know. So my recommendation is no more than 1,700 tons per Jeep 9 on the grade if you want to go more than 12 miles an hour. So we're going to need a lot of Jeeps. Well, that's just on the Silva end. You said 1,700 tons? Per Jeep, yes. Oh, Mad Attican says you can. Okay. But she did it. I'm on the other side of the tunnel. Hot damn. GP9 has 64,000 pounds of traction effort. Yeah, it actually shouldn't. But I'm going to run with it for now. Um, so that number is the GP9's starting tractive effort. So that is like you hold it in the eighth notch for five minutes from a standstill up to nine or ten miles an hour. You can get that tractive effort. However, after like five, ten minutes, the traction motors uh, begin to uh, smell hot and 
things start to melt. Um, if you can get keep it above like 9, 12 miles an hour with the throttle out, you might be able to hold it there for, that might be the 15 minute point. So, yeah. It's not like a steam engine where you can just hold the throttle against the back at a crawl. Now, yeah. some engines you can. Um, the RS3s we had at the DL, you could literally hold the throttle there as long as you had perpetual motion, meaning as long as the ground underneath the engine was moving at a rate of speed that you could at least see. Um, it didn't have enough horsepower to hurt itself. Of course, those were running heavy GE motors, but... Yeah. Fun times. Coming through Dillsboro. Good to know. Yeah, if you guys want to tie up and, uh, Dillsboro or get done whatever you guys are getting done once I get the Bryson we can uh, call it quits here and jump over to WNLV yeah sure uh, let me yeah, sure. get this to the interchange at least because it's moving at 30 if I stop it now it's not going to want to be very happy to start later okay that's fine yeah that's fine and I'm, I'm not still far like, from Silva anyway I'm like 2-3 miles out of Bryson anyway I'll probably actually be <clears throat> to the interchange do, do, do. I'm just happy it did it. <laughs> Alright, slight spicy noises. Oh, uh, actually, Theo, you could probably grab the pulpwood off me then, too, and store it somewhere. Uh, I've only got 2.4 tons of coal. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's, uh, some upgrades that need to happen around this railroad. Oh, there's another empty. Yeah, that can wait. Five can get those later. Yep, next group can get it. <laughs> Sounds like a first shift problem. Which shift are we on again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh fuck, that plane's not gonna work. Oh, TJ has the zoomies. Uh oh. TJ, more like Speed J. He gets that way. I love cats. Mine is very vocal. Alfie. He will. Yeah, well, yeah, he's mouthy, but he will have a conversation with you. It's going to scare the shit out of me. My other cat, Charlotte. I, uh, I forget what the heck I was doing. I let her into the bathroom. I, I think I was washing my hands and uh well yeah but then I did let her in hey, when you come to Silverboard slow her down a touch eh uh yeah I, I mean I'm only doing 22 right now on this grade so oh okay fair enough but still this is gonna be close this is gonna, this is closer than I care for but uh she started back sassing me because uh, I didn't do what she wanted. She was just literally grumbling at me. Like meow grumble kind of thing. Like, like literally <laughs> like cartoonish grumbling. And I'm just like, excuse you. And she just kind of looked at me and kept grumbling and walked away. I'm like, okay. <laughs> what did you do to your poor cat? Yeah, we, we, have, a, we have a calico here at the house. And she she's can be, she can be a bitch. 
None of none of our cats are witches or anything. Uh, Winnie's a little spiteful, but the others are, you know, they're all playful. But uh, they all have very unique personality traits. I am down to 18 miles an hour. Uh, you need me to come down there to help you? No, no, no. I've had this thing on its knees at 12, so I'll be all right so far. All right. I should be clear of the side. I should be clear of the main when you come up here. So. Okay. Yeah, that switch is set. Okay. Yeah, definitely going to have to drop these and go for a refuel. I can hear you. Oh, shit. Ow, that was in my ear. What did you do? <sighs> oh. Nasu. Did he leave it on the main? No, he left the switch open. Didn't normalize it. <laughs> you just rear-ended the passenger train, didn't you? Front ended it. Oh, you know, rear end. <laughs> What's that? Hey, dark. A front end. Front ending is a rear ending. Oh. Like I got. Like I'm gonna just. I'm gonna leave that derailed there for Nasu. I'm just gonna back up and go back with my business. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> it only did three percent to the jeep, so. It, it screwed up his passenger car more than me, so... What did it do problem. to the passenger car? Because he only just got this back to 100%. It, it's at 83. Fuck. And it is it is derailed, man. It is... I'm going to leave it right there. All right, hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm pulling into Bryson. I want to have a look at it. Oh, no. Uh, no, you can't because the Pacific's blocking the main. Is it? Oh, he shoved it out the other side. <laughs> All right, hold on. I gotta see this. I'm stop. I'm fully stopping my train to see this. Oh, well, yeah. There's there's the Pacific sticking its nose out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go back there and get that car railed. Just uh. <sighs> Take that picture for and uh, screenshot it and put it in Yard Talk and just tag Nasu and go. So about normalizing switches. Fucking Christ! We just got our safety rating back up too. Well, you know what it is too, because I come around that corner and there's a signal. The signal read approach, which for end of track made it's, sense to me. Yeah. So I'm going along, I'm blowing the horn, and I get up on the switch and realize, oh fuck. A little too late. You got that screen? You got that screen cap yet? Uh, yeah, I, I screenshot it both. All right, get that car on the track. I'll just back the engine. Uh, my my character's not here. My character's on my other train. I got it. You got it. Okay. I, I'm walking up to it now. Jesus What's Christ. the quote? If you're gonna fuck up, at least fuck up well enough that everybody remembers it, or they wonder how you did it. Yeah, they have to wonder how you did it. And the other car behind it is down one percent, and it's still lo on. and it's loaded with passengers. <laughs> it is. It's full. <laughs> oh no! It gets it worse. Is... It gets so worse. So the car you derailed is eighty three percent. The one behind yeah, it's I... ninety nine. Then it's a hundred. Then it's 89. Then it's 92. 
93. 93. No, the whole, Tenders at no, 95. Whole Engines at 95. The whole, okay, to be fair, he pulled some car, the cars out from the earlier wreck, and he didn't, and it wasn't. That engine's still not clear. Yeah, I'm working on it. Oh, you My know what? God. If wait a minute, you know what? It probably wasn't clear the whole time then, because when I hit that car. It was like a car and a half in the clear on my end, which means that the Pacific was nosed out in the middle of the main. Nasty. So I would I would have just cleaned the side of the Pacific off. It's probably about as good as we're going to get it, eh? That, that's clear enough. Well, fuck our safety rating, am I right? Yeah, they won't know until tomorrow. N Nasu, Nasu is now stuck on. Uh, is now stuck on on shunting on, on switching duties. He he's lost passenger privileges. <laughs> Here's the problem: Who wants to do passenger though? Nobody. I wouldn't let Nasu do switching duties. He can't even keep the main clear with a train that stays in one piece. Touche. <laughs> and accurate. Right. I, I was, I, and I was doing like at that point, I was probably doing twenty five miles an hour with sixteen hundred tons. Yeah, there was a lot of it in there. You know what? You know what? NASA's just gonna have to gift five more memberships. Oh, nice. Yeah, he'll have to buy the shot crews in Dillsboro some pizza and donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they'd, they'd be busy for a while. Uh, do I, do I, okay, so do I just do I just take? No, wait, no, we we take away specific. We make him use the the Atlantic for the rest of the week. Oh, <laughs> for, ouch! For a week of sessions. <laughs> oh, he has to go back to using numbers two and three. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh no! Both of them at the same time. <laughs> That's the only way you're gonna get a train up up there. You might just leave the train in Dillsboro, or not Dillsboro, but uh... actually, you know what? We'll cut the plot. We'll pu cut the pulp wood off, and we'll run this stuff up into the interchange. That way, it's just yeah. done. Yeah, cut, yeah, and then just shove, and then take these going out your tr the diesel and the, at that uh, at Dillsboro. So just shove the uh... so just shove the stuff for Dillsboro into, into a Dillsboro yard, and take the you know. Dark, I, 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 Dark I, I swear your mouth runs faster than your brain sometimes. It does. <laughs> it does. Just take uh, just take the freight from for uh, Dillsboro. Just leave oh. it in the yard and just service, and then put everything over away. Okay. I'm parking this one consist of uh, cars for the interchange, and then I gotta. At least park the engine and servicing, so I remember to service it the first time I get back on. Now, Theo, are all your switches lined correctly up here? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I only got to worry about the one too. <laughs> oh, this one just... Oh my god. This one just... This one box car just flipped over too. Did not go to the interchange? <laughs> I just finished up here. God well, you're going to have like two hours or so till we call the next interchange anyway, so. Actually, you know what we could do, Theo, for ease of ease for uh, number four or five here? We can back these in and then cut them off. So all five has to do is butt them up and then shove them back into the tracks. Or I'll just cut the cars here if you don't mind. <laughs> Uh, you could do that too. Do you need me to stop? Oh, we're fly switching. Okay. Did you bottle them? Yeah, no. I can fix. I can fix that though. I was gonna say if there's only if there's one person bottling cars, you know who it is. Yeah, but now they're gonna stop blocking his engine. It's on a hill. <laughs> They'll roll back. Okay. <coughs> All right, I'm 
running uh, the Burke 2 servicing. Seeing a switch misaligned at 30 miles an hour is a scary feeling. I've seen that in real life, except I thought it was misaligned because the target said it was, but the switch was actually okay. Damn the damn damn teenagers bent the targets. Uh -huh. Scary thought because had it actually been misaligned, it would have been 30 miles an hour into the side of a cut of grain cars. Yikes. Yeah, does not interest me. What did you want me to do here? Go against the cut on the other track, or do you want me to just leave the diesel up here to sort this out then? This is a... Oh, that's the interchange. Oh, I have to switch that out. Okay. If you want to. Uh, we'll save that for next session, I think. I'm going to get this other car out of the way, though, because it's blocking my way out. Sorry about that. No worries. At least you didn't leave a train in my way. <laughs> uh, well, I had, well, keep in mind in this game, I have gone, gone through a twenty. I have gone through a siding switch at thirty-five miles an hour because of a similar incident. Yeah, uh, speeding is not the same as fouling the main in the way of a heavy speeding freight well, train. Well, I meant uh, leaving a switch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in river in the, in the open, leaving the oh. switch in reverse position. Looks at Nix. What? Sorry. Uh, I also love that the one center saw has an engine in it that should be used for the Burke. You're in my spot. <laughs> I don't see the Burke's number over it over the door. Um, I own the Burke and I own the railroad. It's in my spot. <coughs> I don't Almost. believe you. I licked that it. it's mine. Oh. How much further do you want to go with this conversation? Uh, I'm good. That switch is slimed. Om um, nom nom on the call. Scared to see how many cars have already filled up at Robinson Gap. Oh, only three. Okay. Don't worry. By the time we go to run the next interchange, it'll be all of them. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I love it. I smash 20 miles an hour into a passenger train, and the diesel just like, eh, just a flesh wound. <laughs> It just got its oil changed. N know what's worse about this? It didn't make it one round trip on the railroad without hitting something. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck my life. <clears throat> Alright, well, we have enough money to buy a new Jeep. Well, if you want it, now's the time because I'm here to pick it up with the other Jeep, so. Uh, yeah, might as well. So, bada bing, bada boom. 
Oh, it's spawn. It spawned in Connor real blue. Oh, did it? Yeah. Ooh. It it's kind of like a uh, a the Connor real blue of the eighties. That's it. Oh, color. you know what? I I kind of really like that. It's kind of like that washed, like chalky, old Conrail blue, which is kind of fitting to one of these Jeeves anyway. And it's facing the correct direction. Nice. Even better. Should I christen it and just smash into it? No. <laughs> oh, of course they don't spawn it with the brakes on. That's genius. <laughs> what did you expect? Eh. I don't know. Someone to try to follow the rules? Yeah, I really, I really right. like that Conrail blue on that. Now I'm debating about which color I want to keep for the railroad. <laughs> what says you can't make multiple schemes? That that is true. They do look, they actually do look nice together. I guess I should just leave them here so that they can do the interchange next session. <coughs> yeah, that's fair. I mean, it's not like they need to go back for water and coal or anything. I mean, shit, I barely used 60 gallons. That hasn't... Has that been filled at all today? I filled it... Well, technically today in game, yes. I filled it last session when I got uh, back to Bryson from running... Uh, up to Almond and back down. Yeah, okay. Uh, the blue Jeep needs fuel, but it still won't burn any enough to matter because it's got 550 gallons and that would probably still last me several days at the rate this game burns fuel. But uh, they are tied down. Okay. I'm just uh, cap uh, topping off at water here at Bryson. Uh, do you want me to finish up uh, with the pulpwood then, or no? Uh, I mean, are you, you're spotting it right now, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, you might as well. That way it's done so no one forgets about it next session in case you're not here, and then the pulp was just sitting there unspotted for half a day. Yeah. What'd you do, try to kick it down into the tracks? No, I ended up having to shove it up, so I... So I... So I... So I uncoupled mid. So I did. So, so I uncoupled it and just went around. Oh. <laughs> Those cheaps actually look really nice. I don't know why. They do. Why is it? Why is the picture not in yard talk bash? Uh... Shaming um, because I have to open up Discord on my gaming PC, oh. which I haven't done yet. Okay. I will do that in, uh, when we change sessions. <clears throat> oh, where is it? Is that an update to the... Oh, all right, cool. Work is done being filled. All right, so let's pop ourselves over here. And uh, while Dark is spotting some pulpwood, um, we're going to be ending stream here. So for everybody that has been watching, thank you guys so much. It has been a pleasure, as always. Um, if you guys are a member here on the channel, and would like to be a part of the uh, sessions, then please join our Discord server, which there is a link for that in the description down below. Um, 
and then make sure that you have your discord linked to your youtube account that way you guys get your um appropriate roles to get access to these sessions um with that said guys thank you so much for watching as always and uh until next time please enjoy <laughs>